I am at Toy Federation in South Carolina. We're about to go to the Southeast Game Exchange, but before then, let's stop in here and grab a few things. Why not? Let's have some fun. There's some guests in here. Hi, big fan. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, man. How's it going? Hi. So I walked in and I thought of you, and there's something I'm gonna buy, but I want you to see it. It's right okay. here, watch yes, real quick. So I collect a lot of weird stuff, and this is what a lot of people have called me for the past few months, so I figured why not buy it? Okay. It's this dolphin. Flipper. Uh, <laughs> dude, I actually love these little hand puppets. These are, these are legitimately kind of fun to play with. Oh. <laughs> this is sick. Jim Carrey from the animated series show. Really good. He looks like a mix between Jay, Caleb, <laughs> and I. My God, you're frightening. <laughs> okay, in the world of Nintendo and weird, this is the kind of stuff I like to show you guys. Check this out. Edible Mario Pop from Mario Party 8. And look at this complex. We don't even know what we're looking at, do we? The brass tacks. The brass tacks. Oh, that is the brass tacks. National meeting overview. National meeting awards. And it's like their award show, bro. That would be interesting. And then show me the front. Well, maybe they're marketers. Good job, you sold a lot. It might be what it is. <laughs> oh, true, yeah. It, Yay. Oh. This seems like it's it's just a recording of this convention. Yeah. Yeah, let me yeah. see the back though. That's so the cool. Yeah. And this is the, the oh, man. employee and you, you're studying yeah. things. I love it. The so what'd you just pull out right here? So it's an unassembled Resident Evil 2, I guess, I don't know. What, Oh, so it's an unassembled one? Yeah, dude. Oh, wow. So iconic, that image. So <sighs> Look at that. It's never been used, so it's, never I opened. guess, coming. I guess coming. Yeah, wow, right. dude. That's beautiful. 1998. And it's horror related, man. You just showed me like two of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> Oddity VHS and horror stuff. Look at this beauty, Friday the 13th, signed by Jason himself. And by the way, this is extremely, extremely clean. And it was literally right here, like that. Okay. Complex you need found an it. NES guy to spot the NES guy. Sure, gone back. All right, I was here exactly one year ago, and something never, something never left my brain. And that was over there. There is a tombstone gun, signed by Michael Bean. I actually wasn't expecting you to say that, but now I'm gonna use that. It was signed by Michael Bean from uh, Tombstone, Johnny Ringo, and I wanted to buy it. You know, dad. the guy from Terminator 1, Reese, and he was in, uh, he was in Mandalorian. Yeah, and yeah. Rat Race. That guy. Mr. Bean. Not Mr. Bean. Not Mr. Bean. That's a different guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but last year, I really wanted to buy it for my dad, and I'll be honest, I almost didn't think my dad would make it through the year. My dad is doing great now, unbelievable recovery, and I kind of want to buy him that tombstone. Dear Jesus, I can't even finish my sentence. How much is that? I don't know, but I saw it and I thought of you immediately. Okay, hold on, let me finish my sentence and I'm coming right back to that. Long story short, I, I think I might have to buy that gun for him signed by Michael Bean, Johnny Ringo from Tombstone. It's $200 though. Look at this Look at skateboard that. that he found that I now found. It's just one of those things, you know, that you want. So we have to like rock, paper, scissors for him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm down for something like that. Yeah. Whoever can kickflip on it first, huh? Mm, you win that one. Yeah. No, he won't because I'm going to first use it on his kneecap. Oh, <laughs> easy there, Nancy oh. Kerrigan. Nancy <laughs> Nancy. Is that what it was? I can't remember it the name. Nancy. Okay. All right, I'm having him pull out the uh, the tombstone replica gun signed by Michael Bean right now. I want to. I want to. I want to hold it. I want to see it. Totally unrelated, but this is killer. By Destiny, there's like 45 autographs on it. I have over 300 hours in the original Destiny. <laughs> that was my jam for but a like while. Everybody yeah, this. dude, that's sick. The whole team is like the Bungie team. Yeah, but even the, all the voice actors. Oh, that's sick. That's super cool. Uh, oh yeah. So there it is. I don't want to. Is how loose is it? Okay, it's not gonna fall. Well, it's pretty heavy actually too. Yeah, Michael cool. Bean right there. Oh, my dad would love it. I don't know, Dad. I don't know, Dad. I'm thinking <laughs> he would do it for me. No, no, I don't know. You can do it. I know I gotta fly it back, but I guess we're going. Hello me, months and months and months and months later me, did I get that gun which I forgot to record? No, I didn't end up getting the gun. Why I didn't get the gun? Well, when I first pulled it out and I forgot to film all this, I thought the replica was gonna be more of like a on-set type replica. Again, still really cool, still really awesome, but I'm more on the hunt for something that was like on the set there, on Tombstone, something like that, versus something that was made after the fact and still really cool, still signed, still rad, 
but just not from the set. So hopefully I can find something in the future. But now, let's go see Retro Rick. Like, for real, let's go see him. Here he is. Just was eating some dinner with uh, Rick and the gang and the whole crew. Yums. And he's like, hey, I, I got a shirt for you to look at because he's wearing not a banger. That one. No, I know, not that one. I want that one. But he said he has another shirt for me, so let's see. Yo, that's a sick one. So that one's not super vintage, but it's still sick. Still sick. Still sick. Oh my good lord! Yeah, that's a that's a Maguji. That's one of your best shirts. Simply, yes, this part's good, but the background texture is All right. so. Oh, good. here's the shirt. Uh oh. Here's the shirt. Uh oh. Here's the shirt. What year? Uh, 1990. Oh, baby. Single stitch. Single stitch. Yo, that is like. So this is in person. I'm gonna be honest, you showed me this. This is like that perfect wear let's, that let's, I like. Let's make sure. It's kind of oh, like this one. It's soft, 94, 94. 90, that's great. Nice. Ready? Yeah. It's got a back kit too. Oh, I love that. I, I got this for myself, but it's, it, it, cause large, it's, it's hard to know. Mm -hmm. A large, I thought it was gonna be a medium. I'm a medium. Aaron's more on the medium to large. Yeah. It's just a little big for me. I think it's gonna be perfect for, for, for my guy. And what we're doing, we've, we've kind of been doing that. Me, Ricky and Rick talk a lot about shirts and with that, a lot of times we're like, hey, from now gamble. on, it really is because vintage large can mean nothing. So if they're not giving you measurements, you don't know. So what we do mm -hmm. is we're like, hey man, if you get one, it's too big, hold on to it. You get one that's too small, hold on to it, vice versa. And we're gonna start like kind of popping trades out and stuff like that. And, and a cool story about this, this was actually from overseas. I really, I got this and it took me like three, four weeks to get, but. Where, from where? I think Chile? What? Or something? Yeah, I don't know. I, don't I haven't know. been to Chili's in years. <laughs> <Queso. laughs> it's gonna be sick. Here is an absolute, probably one of your better, like, I don't know, 90s nostalgia-y looking well, one. The colors, the colors and all of it, this, the, the print, My 92, it's a, this is a 92. That's unreal. So, is it back the same thing? Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually like, okay, a, nice. what you call it, like block. Yeah. One side of it. My a Couple little holes, gosh. you know, it's just character. It's I like luck. holes on the shirts. I, I do, I really do. I dig it. Dang, you're the man, dude, with hunting. <laughs> All right, real question. I wanted to ask this. So on our channel, we've been showing a decent amount of shirts and vintage shirt stuff, as well as games and toys and all that stuff as well. And sometimes it's hard to know as like a content creator or like a, a YouTuber, my least favorite word in the world. Do you guys like when we bring in stuff like vintage t-shirts? I know when we first brought in VHS, not everyone was super into VHS. There was a lot of people who were like, no, it's not really our thing, but people eventually came around and really started liking it. And funny enough, I actually found out VHS was like one of the most searched tags in regard to our Pixel Game Squad main channel. But I'm curious, I know on this channel it's more like the real, the raw, the very just straightforward footage. So do you guys that came over to this channel, Pixel Plus, do you guys like vintage clothing stuff when we talk about it, when we show it, or are you just like, eh, only if it's like gaming related, which these were, it's like The Simpsons, which is nostalgia-y, obviously Sonic is super video game related as well, so let me know. I just like to kind of gauge as well, and this is a great place to gauge too, because you guys, again, as I've said, you guys are the real homies following this channel. So thanks again. I didn't even say that word correctly, but hey, dog, say goodbye. Also, my dog is not underfed. Everyone gets scared for poor Taffy, but the vet said she's a rescue dog and that's just kind of her build. We, she gets fed and she's loved, but she's just a naturally, look at it. Oh my gosh, she just almost knocked my phone out. <laughs> she's just a skinny little happy wonder, no matter what. Look at that dog go. Now you know why she's so skinny. She don't stop playing. 